Uh, what I'm going to do is show you first uh, the five Tibetan rites, which takes five minutes every morning. Uh, then I'm going to show you some sun salutations, uh, which take a little bit more time. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to go on to some really simple yoga poses that you can do to de-stress yourself if you're studying for an exam or taking a test or you're just tired and you don't feel like doing anything else. Um, this is a good uh, complementary form of exercise for those who do run because you remember last week we did running in our vlog uh, and next week we're doing kangu or if you're just not a strenuous exerciser and you want to keep fit and feel good uh, in a less uh, you know dynamic way. So while you're doing the yoga poses and the Tibetan rites I would recommend that you breathe deeply and slowly um, in and out of your nose. Uh, try concentrating more on the breathing at the beginning since that's the most important part of yoga uh, and uh, You'll eventually become more and more flexible and be able to get into the poses um, Some of the benefits of the Tibetan rites are increased bone mass um, decreasing a double chin uh, tightening the abs oxygenating the body increasing muscle tone increasing limb drainage detoxification better posture spine flexibility, and increasing your mood. This video has been filmed in real time, so you can actually follow me and do the poses as many times as I do. This pose I'm, a, I'm doing now, which is the third Tibetan rite, is also a pose called Super Brain Yoga. Uh, it basically uh, increases the blood rush to your head, um, oxygenates your brain uh, to increase awareness, to relieve tiredness and stress, and helps you really focus. So it's great for those of you who are studying or doing exams. Please do it 14 times. When you go down, you breathe in. When you go up, you breathe out of your nose. Uh, please check uh, the way that my arms are. Uh, they're actually touching the lobes of my ears. Um, and uh, please do it exactly as it is. Don't cro um, cross your arms the wrong way. So that's uh, right arm over the top and left arm underneath. And like I said, repeat it 14 times, but no more and no less. When you're doing these poses, you should feel perhaps some tightness and uh, you should feel your body working and your muscles getting stronger, but at no point should you ever feel any pain or discomfort. If you do, please stop the poses immediately and uh, if you need to, consult a doctor. Regulate uh, the poses and how you move in between them with your breathing. Sun salutations should be done every morning if possible. Um, they're a fantastic way to wake up in the morning, stretch yourself when getting out of bed, um, wake yourself up properly and just, you know, you'll get to school in a really, or work in a really great mood. Again, try and keep up with me, but if you feel that your pace is different to mine, uh, just learn the poses from the video or, you know, go online and Google sun salutations and uh, just make your own pace. Remember, as with the Tibetan rites, uh, the sun salutations, breathe in and out of your nose gently and slowly. Uh, take as deep a breath as you can. It's really good to exercise your lungs as well as the rest of your body. And just let the poses flow. As you can see, I'm moving from one pose to the next without much resistance, without any straining. Uh, this will come with time. Firstly, you need to just uh, learn the poses and practice them. But once you know them, you will get a fluidity in your movements. Now, uh, with these basic poses, uh, I find these really helpful when I'm stressed or tired. 
and um, they literally take five minutes. You can lie down uh, in your house or wherever you happen to be um, in a quiet corner and just do it for a couple of minutes and it will really help you chill out or you know get extra energy. I'm showing some hand variations uh, of the pose uh, right now and uh, in further poses I'm going to show you you know depending on how flexible you are where you can position your hands. Um, don't worry too much about the hand positions, uh, they will come with time. The more flexible you get, the further uh, your hands can move away from the rest of your body. thing about yoga is that it really helps your posture especially with this pose as you start off sitting with a very straight back and then gently leaning forward uh, don't put your head down try to keep it up like I have that keeps the spine straight um, and gently stretches out the legs and here are the alternative ways of holding your feet depending on how flexible you are If you can't reach your ankles, just hold your legs as far up as you can. After doing this forward bend, I would recommend that you do this uh, back arch. It just makes sure that you don't get any pain in your lower back after doing the pose. It's like a counter pose if you like. This table arch is also uh, the same thing. See, I'm lifting my hands off the mat it's because I want to show you that you can lift your back and arch slightly without uh, pushing down with your arms um, this just helps strengthen your core muscles and your back for the full Cobra you do need your hands for support However, please don't put too much pressure on your hands. Try and get up there by yourself. Just use your hands as stabilizers. This next pose I'm gonna show you is really great for um, inner organ massage. Um, depending on which side you do, um, it's going to really um, stimulate your pancreas and your liver. It is a little tricky as uh, you need to know where to put your legs and which hand goes where, but just check the video a couple of times and uh, uh, you, should, you should get it. Try to keep your back as straight as possible and slowly release so you don't click any of your joints. There I'm doing it a bit slower so I can show you how to get into the position. See that my back is straight. And try to keep the leg that is bent over, um, try to keep that butt cheek on the floor. Again, you should only feel a stretch, but not pain when you're doing the poses. This next pose, girls, if you're menstruating, I wouldn't recommend it. This pose is really great for um, tiredness and stress. Uh, it just gives you a blood rush to the head. 
but please be careful when you do it. Please uh, don't go into the pose too fast or come out of it too fast because you will get dizzy. You can stay in the poses as long as you like. Uh, I'm just showing you here. I would usually hold that pose for a couple of minutes. The next pose is a counter pose for the previous one. It's really important that you do it and it's really great for the thyroid. This next pose is also a counter pose. last pose, the course pose, is for relaxing. If you stay in it for about five minutes, um, or if actually if you sleep that way, it's very beneficial. It helps with energy circulation in your body. This is one of my favorite poses. Um, it really stretches out your inner thighs. If you notice, I'm turning my feet in um, towards the way that I'm going to bend. And as I switch sides again, I twist my feet. your stomach in as much as you can and when you breathe out arch your back there's a little bit of relaxation just holding the ankles and bending over come up very slowly vertebrae by vertebrae so you don't strain your back or neck so guys now you've seen me do some basic yoga poses I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the benefits of yoga so if you do it on a regular basis, let's say two to three times a week, you're going to experience uh, increased body flexibility, uh, muscle tone and uh, muscle strength. Uh, you're going to be able to detox your body. You're going to get a regular uh, organ massage. Uh, it's great for increasing awareness and brain function for those who study, and it helps lubricate your joints and tendons.